Well, hello there, it's Kathy here at Spicy Cat Jams. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm so glad to see you. I do all kinds of things at my channel. I am doing a Target haul today. It's fallen. What's the saying? It's not a haul. Something doesn't fall. I believe Kathy, no guts, no glory, and think pink days say that all the time. So, hey, I caught it. Anyway, I'm doing a Target haul, a post-Christmas, and I shopped on Tuesday the 5th, and I swear while I was in the store, they were like entering the um, the markdowns from 50 to 70 or 75%. I'm not even sure, but um, I have been like bragging this up. I have showed, where does it show? Here, savings this trip, $96.77. And my total was sixty-seven thirty-six. So, and I just realized they overcharged me for something. So I will be taking that back. And that was thirteen ninety-eight. Was a piece of clothing that was actually marked down because it was a pajama set with just the top. But when they scanned it in, it must have rang full price. So, anyway, we'll be returning that. So, <laughs> now a lot of this is snack stuff, and it's because it doesn't expire. And I love peppermint and chocolate. Yum. And I like to share with my work friends. So I stocked up. We're gonna have peppermint chocolate for a couple months now. It can carry through to Valentine's Day and trust me, anything you put out at work does not last. So let's dive into these. If I can find them easily enough, I'll tell you how much I paid. And I'm sure by now, if your Target still has them, I don't know when do they go down to like 90%. This Target I was at still had a whole bunch. It was like on a wall, a back wall, but they had like several four foot sections, probably 20 feet still of, um, and that was just one. They actually had a couple rows yet with like the ornaments and decorations and bows. Oh my God, if you need bows and wrapping paper, go stock up. So anyway, first we're gonna go through my, um, some of my snackies here. I got Milano slices, peppermint. These are yummy. And they were only 86 cents. See what I mean? I think things were getting marked down while I was there. 86 cents. Normally on a good sale, if you get Milano pepper charms for like 250. So 86 cents, yeah. As I said, I bought multiples of some of these, which I'm not gonna show you. Um, this is a Ghirardelli the dark chocolate with peppermint bark and it was a dollar thirty four which I don't like to pay full price for these anyways because it's only like 13 pieces of candy in here so I would not have paid four forty nine for it just saying these are so yummy I actually found them through an influencer box check the link below um, bark thins these are dark chocolate with mint and these are dark chocolate peppermint pretzel with sea salt. So these yum 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 yum. Oh, let's say I have another Ghirardelli thing. Maybe that was the wrong one. They are both $1.34. <laughs> anyway, these were both $1.19 each. And they're resealable. Very nice. Here's the other Ghirardelli. It's minis. Aren't those cute? Little minis. These are fun. Actually, I might use these for Valentine's for a little craft idea. I like to do little crafty giveaway things. I got some bagged candy. We got um, Hershey's Peppermint Bark Bells. We're a dollar four. We got M&M's. I got the Cafe Mocha. These were, let's see, M&M's, M&M's. <sighs> I'm looking at 95 cents, sorry, I can't do this. Maybe you don't need to know the price. They're 95 cents, and I got, there's only one bag of these. These are my absolute favorite holiday mint, so I got some of those. These I had not seen, but have you guys seen these? They're Brock's little, I don't know, little Brock's bits. And um, yeah, they're chocolate covered, dark chocolate covered peppermint, and they're just teeny tiny, and I, I'm going to have to put them in my coffee. I think they would be so good in my coffee. What do you guys think? I think I'm right and I can't find... Oh, they were 89 cents each. Yeah. 
so that's a nice one this was just their regular it, some of their Christmas stuff isn't like the percentage off so then it's just a um, if they have it marked so this was 261 an Oregon chai peppermint chai tea latte I had tried a regular the pumpkin spice one if you remember and um, I think I, I love peppermint peppermint milk is my all-time favorite so I thought I'll try this but I only bought one um, these are another holiday cannot get enough of them peppermint ch crunch junior mints and I got a lot of these but it's okay because they were 32 cents each I put these in the freezer yum frozen um just found one of these it was a holiday flavor muddy buddies snickerdoodle flavor so how can you go wrong with that on Chex Mix um, can't tell how much that one was 89 cents again oh my gosh these prices people people these I bought for oh wait let me show you this one first this is for the work candy dish I got multiple these sweet stripes I love these soft mints I get them at Dollar Tree all the time and um these were only 80 cents each and there's chocolate mint hot chocolate and caramel mac macchiato and they're those almost like not wedding reception mints but like after dinner mints they're a little softer so exciting this was a random i don't know if this was it rang up as a dollar <laughs> it's a glitter washi tape i don't know if that was on sale or not but i'd pay a dollar for it okay so these are things i got for my friend kim and i to try these were Emily's fortune cookies. They are 95 cents each. It's a chocolate covered dark chocolate peppermint. So I thought that would be fun for Kim and I to try and see what our fortunes are. And they don't expire until um, July. <laughs> we got time. And then these I also got for us to try because I kind of have a peep theme. They had red velvet peeps. They had Sugar Plum Delight. Those are just so cute because they're purple. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love them. And these were each 59 cents. And they have Candy Cane Peeps. So watch for that in a Bargain Bites episode coming. These are not... I think that's everything I got that was Christmas marked. No, I got a couple beauty things I'll show you yet. These were new in the... What do they call it? The dollar spot? There are these little chalkboard easels, which I use in direct sales. I like because they're just small enough. I can put like a, a single promotion or a price price for a product on them. And then these were also, these are three bucks. They're these lights. And I think they had them in gold and silver. And they've got, they run off batteries. And I got them to decorate my work little cubicle. That was fun. This is, I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They were different though, and I sent them in some random act of kindness at this winter, and they're little lip balms that are cats, like pods, but these are two different designs. So this, it was kind of opened, but um, it was still fine. So this was $3.48, Furry Friends Lip Balm Pods. Maybe I'll keep this one for me now. Um, this lip balm was also on clearance. It was kind of tricky, because there was like a whole bunch of peppermint or candy cane chapstick like three packs back with like the stocking stuffer stuff but it did not ring up for sale it was still five dollars and I just was not gonna argue there was one thing I bought up that was obviously Christmas they were like little baking boxes that looked like Santa on a roof and they weren't ringing up and the guy was just like eh, nope they're still not on sale so I didn't want to get into it Maybe they weren't, but they were off. They're all back there. So the peppermint candy cane ones were not on sale, but these Burt Bees were a dollar seventy-three each, and it's the pumpkin spice and vanilla bean. Heck of a deal for a Burt's Bees chapstick. And as much as I say I hate pumpkin spice, I can't pass up a deal. And I gotta say I tried it. Um, these were like the bargain of the day. And I don't know, they weren't on an end cap. They were like random. You have to like go through the whole store. Like every end cap has clearance. So these were the Febreze Air Effects um, Fall Edition. This is the spray, Pumpkin Bliss. And this was 29 cents. 29 cents. This also was 29 cents. This says it's the winter collection, the wax melts, spread cheer, 29 cents. And then, oh, they smell so good. 
and also the Glade Candle, 29 cents. I only found one of each of these or I would have bought more because this scent is amazing, but keep an eye out because they might not be on an end cap and they weren't marked. Use the scanners. Okay, and then I got three, <laughs> wait for this stuff to fall, three beauty items that were um, Christmas sets that were on sale. So we got, what am I missing? It says there's one thing. Oh wait, this is a 340. Sorry, I was looking at my receipt. I'm like, it high says I should have one more beauty thing. So these were e.l.f. sets and they were both $10 and they ring up at $3. So obviously 70% off was kicking in, but this is a four piece lip set with a lip liner, a lip lock pencil and two lipsticks. So for three bucks, whether I use them for myself or I might use them for gifts, I mean, they don't say anything about being Christmas. So definitely there were lots of this kind of thing, especially the e.l.f. brand. I suggest snagging them up. Perfect for girlfriends, nieces, what, you know, lots for gifts throughout the year. And then this was the e.l.f. essential brushes. So I got that also. This was the only one, the box is kind of wonky, but I checked and made sure all the stuff is inside. See, it's all there. So, three bucks, heck yeah. And then this was another surprise. This was regularly, let's see, it's the Katy, the Katy Perry, Mary Perry Christmas. Sorry, it's blinding you. Lip, are they lip glosses? Three lip glosses in super fun colors. And this was um, $2.99, regularly $9.99. So, I think I scored pretty well, and again, I mean, it does say the Mary Perry, but I could pull these out and t stick them in a gift for my um, goddaughters and they would not know. So there's my Target haul minus the one shirt and the duplicates in which I saved nearly $100, which I joke that I can't go into Target without spending that much. So to save that much, awesome. Have you hit up any good after holiday sales? Did you vlog it? Video, I mean? <laughs> Link, tell me so I can come see what you got and then know if I have to go shopping again. But thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come see me. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you are having a wonderful start to the new year and I will see you again soon, my friends. Bye. So cute. He was half price. He's a little huggable massager dude. And um, he's a pig. My best friend since I was five. It's a thing with us. I give her pig things. It's always fun. And these I paid full price. In the previous, I just showed you the little coin purse I got from Dollar Tree. Well, look what they had at Walmart. And I bought this Christmas Eve, paid full price. I think it was a dollar. No, it was $3. Because um, I didn't know if I'd get back there afterwards.